Hey guys, Linda here. Welcome back to Adore Our Hey everyone. Sorry I've been missing in action. Yeah, sorry. It's just with all this stuff going on in the world right now, I just have not been in the mood to do any feminine. It's just so so depressing. I oh I just I just have not been in the mood. You got COVID-19 going on. Yeah, I'm already depressed about that. And then we get all this stuff going on with cops just with George Floyd's situation, I, I I can't even talk about that situation. Oh my goodness, why? I just don't understand. I just don't understand why people have to have hate in their heart. I just do not understand. Just because of the color of someone's skin, it just doesn't make sense to me. And I can't talk about it because I, I didn't want to come on here and talk about it because I get so upset. Oh. So I just have not been filming. And I'm not going to get into it because I'm about to get all in my emotions right now. I'm tearing up right now because it's just ridiculous. Um, but I will leave some links below uh, to the Black Lives Matter, to the NAACP, and to um, uh, a site uh, where you can just sign petition for different people just that have been victimized for for no reason other than the color of their skin or for other reasons, uh, I'll leave that below. So I'll leave three links below because I, I can't, I don't know how some people come on here and discuss this because I can't because it's, it's just very, uh, it's, it just, it's just very emotional to me and I cannot, I don't see how people do it because I wouldn't be able to even come on here and explain my feelings concerning the whole matter because <sighs> This will be a whole crying session, and I do not want to do that. But like I said, I left some links below. You can go and check them out. You can donate, and you can also sign petitions. And I'll just leave those uh, below. If you want to donate, you can. If you don't have the money right now because of all this coke people being laid off their jobs or on fur furlough, uh, you can just sign the petitions. Um, like I said, I left those below because I'm going to get out the surgery because, I, yeah, I don't want to get all emotional on this uh, video. Um, today, I'm coming to you with a book haul. All I've been doing is working. I was watching the news, but I had to quit doing that because it's just... I, I quit. I know it's good to be up on what's going on in the world, but I just cannot deal with all this bad news. Every time you look around, somebody is getting into it. Um, with the cops or being mistreated because of the color of the skin. I just cannot do it. Um, especially when people got their these phones now. You can just videotape anything. And that's all I've been seeing is just videotape of people being just mistreated. Or it's just something. And I, I have to quit looking at the news. So I was like, I, I'm, just, I'm not even going to look at it. Because I got to look out for my personal health. Because, yeah, it, it, that stuff can get you... To, all up in your feelings and get you all depressed and I just cannot deal with it right now I was like no 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 so I've been buying a lot of books which I don't need to do because I got books here that I already need to read but I have been buying a lot of books this might be two parts because I just have had packages coming in from left and right uh, just trying to cheer myself up because yeah I've been uh, yes it's just been very, very rough lately. All right, so let's get started. That's all I got to say on there. Let's open some packages. Hope everyone else has been doing good. Uh, hope you're taking care of yourself out there with all this stuff that's going on. Just take care of yourself and just be careful out there. That's all I can say. Just be very, very careful during these times. Uh, first of all, I already, here's the package. I've already opened it. I already cut it open. I haven't went through any of these. I said I'm going to, I was going to save them for when I did feel like coming and filming. So that's today. Um, I went and got uh, some Holoquin Historical. You know, I had to get some. I've ordered a lot of Historical. I ordered some books from Amazon. I've ordered some books from Thrift uh, Thrift Books. I ordered some books off of eBay. Yeah, I've just been ordering everywhere. So first up is Stolen by the Viking by Michelle Willing Willingham. Have any of you read anything by her? I'm not going to read the back of any of these because, like I said, I got a lot of books to go through. Uh, here, so I don't want this to be too long. I might have to make this a two-parter, but it's a Holoquin historical. You know, I love my Holoquin, and I also went on um, the Holoquin website and ordered a bunch of books. I also got a box from them too. That might be in my next video. But here, you guys, "Stolen by the Viking" by Michelle Willingham. Let's see what else I got down here. I don't know what the, I don't know what half of these books are because <laughs> I've ordered from everybody. So. Let's cut this open and see what's going on with this. And uh, 
since I've been all over my feel, I haven't been reading anything. I think I finished about four books from my TBR, so I won't be having a new TBR for this month. It'll still be the same TBR. I might add a few books to it uh, to make up for the books I have read. I think I read about four, maybe three books. I'll go over them in a video. So let's get this open. Uh, this is uh, Marielle Anna Holiday. Um, I was looking at somebody else uh, on YouTube and they were showing their uh, collection of book and I had forgot all about and they were showing some old book by uh, from Tapestry and I had forgot all about Tapestry. So I went and um, I don't know what book this is in the series. Uh, I went and ordered a couple of Tapestry. I don't know if this book one or book two. I, I've ordered book one and two from the series I think. I don't know. I have to go back and see uh, what book this is in the series. But I think I know I did order like book one and book two. Maybe this is book one or book two. I don't remember. But there you go. And I, because I love uh, how ta Tapestry did their covers. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. And this is Muriel by Anna Holiday. That's from Tapestry from back in the day. I might have some books from Tapestry. Uh, in my collection already but I couldn't remember so I ordered that I was like I have forgot all about tapestry historicals I have another book by Michelle Willingham uh, this is the Highlander and the governess I guess this is uh, in a series untamed Highlander series and you know I don't <laughs> I haven't even looked these up so I don't know what book this is in the series but this is Michelle Willingham the Highlander and the governess and no I have never read anything by Michelle Willingham but I just read the synopsis of her books and I uh, thought it was very and uh, this is on a governess I very interesting so i would like let me check it out so i hope her books are good have any like i said have any of you read any ever any books by michelle willingham is she a good writer let me know or am i buying these books just to be disappointed <laughs> i hope not i hope not let's see i got another one here i don't know what happened. i think i got this one either off of uh i also ordered some books from uh, paperback swap maybe this one came from paperback swap I think I ordered some tapestry from Paperback Swap and from uh, eBay. Because those are the only places I could find them. You know, like with the original cover or whatever. So let's get this other one open here. Oh, here's... Uh, I ordered these off of eBay. This is uh, Jane Castle, also known as Jane uh, Krantz. Um, these are book one and book two in her miss. I didn't even know she had a mystery. And this is with uh, Dale. I didn't even know she had a mystery. Like I said, I was looking at that um, at the, this guy YouTube. It was a guy. And he had a bunch of romance books. And uh, I'll leave his link below if I can find it again. Um, he, I was just on there looking at all his videos of his book collection. And he had these in there. And it and I used to love reading uh, Jane Castle. She wrote for Candlelight Romance, or I think it was Candlelight. And um, she was one of my one of my favorite authors back in the day. Uh, like I said, she also writes as Jane Ann Krantz. And I had a, quite a few books by Jane Castle. I still probably got some around here somewhere. And this is uh, her, I guess this is like a mystery or something. Uh, this is the Guinevere Jones novel, a Guinevere Jones novel, The Chilling Deception and The Desperate Game, book one and two. I don't know which one is book one and which one is book two, but I had to get them. I don't know if I'll read them, but for collection reasons. So I have to go back here and read. I didn't even read the uh, synopsis of any of them. I just saw them and I was like, I got to have it. So I got these off of eBay. And they're in pretty good shape. And this is in pretty good shape. Either this came from Payback Swap or eBay, like I said. It's in very, very good shape. I'm very, very happy with it, with these books right here. Especially when you get off eBay or Payback Swap. Uh, even though pay on paperback swap, it, it tells the people who put books on there that they need to be in good shape, but you never know. <laughs> but you don't show sure don't know what you're going to get from eBay. Even though they say the books are good, you never know what you're going to get. I'm going to open up all these ones in the paper here. I got some boxes too uh, with books in them, so I'm going to do the paper ones first. That's all in these plastic bags first. See what else we got in here. I don't got what I ordered. I just been, like I said, I've just been ordering and ordering and ordering. So that, this one came from eBay. Get it out here. Here is Defiant Love by Mura Sager. 
Now this might be book two in the tapestry series. I don't know. Like I say, I know these are book one and book two, but I don't know which one is. I think this is book one and this is book two. I think that's how I go. But this is in pretty good shape too. Can't complain. Look at look at the cover. I I got these for the cover really, cause uh, like I when I saw it on the um on this guy's site, I was like, look at those covers. I gotta get it. Yeah. Like I say, I'll try to find that video and leave it below of his uh collections. Uh, let's go to the next one here. Let's see what we got here. I don't know where this. Can, I don't know what this is either. Like I said, I just been <laughs> ordering stuff, spending money that I don't need to be spending. Uh, this is a uh, Lynn Stone. Uh, I have read Lynn Stone before. I enjoyed her uh, book, and this is a uh, Regency by Mill and Boone, the Captain and the Wallflower. This uh, I hate this it's bent right here, but it, other than that, it's in good shape. The Captain and the Wallflower. Um, I just would have got this for I like this uh this sound here the cap he's a captain and she's like a wallflower you know one of the women who get looked over at the uh balls or whatever that sounded interesting to me so I hope this is good and I like Lynn Stone writing so I hope it's good and this is in excellent condition except for the, the little crease on the side and the little um crease right here so I'll put another book on top of it maybe it'll straighten it out there see what else I got here Open this one up. Have any of you doing this? Um, doing COVID? Have any of you been buying? A, uh, I know a lot of people on YouTube said they've been buying a lot of books. Have you, any of you all been buying a lot of books? Cause yeah, between COVID and all the other stuff that's going on, yeah, that's all I've been doing. I got a uh, Christian Jane Satin Satin's Angel. I think this is book one of the Holoquin Historicals. I've, I've been going and trying to get the first book out of a series like the Holoquin Historical Series. I wanted to get book one and I think this is book one and this is in excellent condition. I might have this already because I used to get uh, Holoquin Historicals in the mail but I can't remember. So to make sure that I had book one, I went and ordered it. Satan's Angel by Kristen James. Look at that cover. And I just love these covers. Got her there. And that's, like I said, that's a Holoquin historical. I hope y'all can hear me because I'm bending down I'm getting books. So. I hope, and still talking. <laughs> well, I hope you can hear me. I, I think those are all of the books that came from eBay, I think, and uh, Paperback Swap. And the next ones, I think all of these came from um, Amazon, I think so. Hold on. Yeah, I think the rest of these are from Amazon. So let's see, because I can't uh, say it again. I don't remember what all I bought. So let's go through these. Oh, this is a movie I got. It's Christmas in July, people. So look what I got. 12 Men of Christmas. I love this movie. Have any of you seen it? It played on, uh, this wasn't on the Hallmark. I think this was on Lifetime. I think they did this movie on Lifetime, and I like her, Kristen Chenoweth. I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. But this is, uh, I think she's like a, uh, what was she's in here? Was she with advertising or something? And she go to this little small town. You know it's always got to be a small town. And um, they want to do a, uh, these guys are uh, work for the fire department. And they want to do a calendar for Christmas. That's why I call it 12 men of Christmas. And her and this guy right here going to have a run in because he, he don't even want to, he, he don't want even want to be in the uh, calendar because, you know, he think it's out now. We don't need to be doing no calendar. So these two butt heads, but I love this movie. So I had to get it. 12 men of Christmas. Have any of you seen this? If you haven't, check it out. She's a good actress. I like her. They had some nice chemistry together. I really enjoyed this movie. 12 Men of Christmas. Uh, let's see what else I got down here. Another one book from uh, Amazon. I got a Beth Carey Make Me, the complete novel. I guess this is something she, she was doing like a chapter after, you know, you buy a chapter for $2.99 or whatever. Well, they don't put the whole book together, I think. And I'm going to try... 
another contemporary of Beth Carey because her contemporary haven't been doing them for me. Have, hasn't been doing it for me because I think I had two books by her. I think I DNF both of them. I couldn't do it. I just couldn't. <laughs> I guess that should have told me, well, I was like, I'm going to do one more book and then three strikes is out. I'm not going to do it. If, if I don't like this one, I'm not buying any more Beth Carey contemporary because, yeah, I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> It just have not been doing it for me. So I got Make Me Beth Carey. I'm trying. I'm keeping my finger crossed because I, I loved her older books. Uh, I got quite a few of her older books. And I think she also wrote some. Uh, I, I've read some of her contemporary, the older ones. I really enjoy. But these lately. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> That's all I got to say on that. <laughs> I'm trying, Beth. I'm, I'm trying, Beth Carey. I'm trying. <laughs> so I'm going to give that a try. Let's see what else we got down here. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see here. Oh, you know I had to get this. Kennedy Ryan's new book. Um, this also was... Uh, this is uh, on Ezra Stern and... What is the female name? She was in the... the uh, the Kingmaker series, the female, the um, who was friend with the main character, what's her? What is her name? Uh, is it on here? Oh, uh, it don't even say. Is her name Kimba? Oh my goodness! Let's look through here. Sorry, people. I got to get that name. But um, this is like part of the kingmakers I don't, I don't know if it's going to be part of the series but uh the female in here is from the kingmaker series kimba yeah that's what her name this is on kimba uh she was friend with the main character in the kingmaker series so i was like i got to do it i got to get it so there you go kennedy ryan and i'm gonna collect all her books from uh i need to go so i ordered two more books in here so you might see that in this uh haul too i ordered the two books from the Hoop series, the book one and book two, because I already got book three. And I also want to get her other series before that. I can't think of what it was. It Grip? I'm going to get that series too. And there you go. Queen Moo. Look at that cover. Beautiful. Legacy Power Passion. Queen Moo, Kennedy Ryan. USA Today and Wall Street Journal bestseller. Go ahead on, Kennedy. Legacy Power and Passion. Look at that. Spine on that. I love that too. So I got that. Let's see what else I got down here. Oh, here go long shot. I had to get that beautiful cover. Look how thick that is. Oh my goodness. I heard this book is kind of emotional. So look, I might have to get all up in my feelings, people. I can't. <laughs> I don't know, but I went ahead and got long shot. Let's see. Um, what else is that down here? I also got this, like I mentioned, I got the second book in the Hoop series, too. It's probably, like I said, probably in here, too. Let's see what this is. This is all wrong. I don't know why I'm cutting this. Sorry, guys. My camera went out. I was saying I don't know why I was cutting this open because I had already opened it. And... One of my favorite authors, Grace Draven. She write uh, paranormal, and this is uh, in the drag. This is dragon. I've been waiting for this forever. Yeah, this supposed to been came out last. This was supposedly supposed to come out last year, but they pushed it back, and it finally came out. I finally got it. Dragon Unleashed: The Fallen Empire. I don't know if this. I think I've. I think I've already got book one. I think this, I haven't read either one. I haven't read book one yet. I think that's book one. I think this is book two. Yep. I got Phoenix Unbound. I haven't read it yet. And this is Dragon Unleashed. The Fallen Empire series. So I got to get these. I got to read both of those. So I went ahead and got this. I know I like her writing. So I went ahead and got book two. Grace Draven. I like that cover. Got her. I don't know what they did with this. Look, look how they got this book. The, the cover is shorter than the actual uh, pages in the book you see there yeah but I'm, I'm trying not to let that bother me <laughs> I'm trying not to let that bother me <laughs> what else I got down here okay I got some 
Now I get into my some boxes here. I'm gonna hurry up because my camera might be getting ready to go. It already went out a few minutes ago. Oh, here go the second book in the hoop series. Block shot. Kennedy Ryan. She writes some thick book. Oh, and I love her her uh chapter covers. Look at there. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. I cannot right now. Oh. Loving it. Block Shot, Kennedy Ryan, book number two. So I got all three books here. So I guess I'll start from the beginning because I haven't read book three yet. So I guess I'll start from the beginning and go through all three of them. I've heard good things about them. Uh, let's see, I got two more boxes here. And then I'm going to call it a day. Uh, I'll finish up the, uh, I'll do a part two of my book haul here. I saw this while I was on Amazon. I fell in love with this cover. A Dark and Stormy Night by Kara and Brian. You all know I like her, love her historical, so I had to do it. But look at that cover. The the red, all the red in there. Her dress is red velvet. Look at the stormy sky back there. Oh my goodness. Love it. There you go. And I got one more box here. See what this is. Oh my goodness, this is Australia, a romance anthology to benefit firefighters. Oh, this is when they had the uh this is uh they put this book out. I guess a bunch of romance authors put this book out to uh donate the proceeds to the uh the firefighters and uh, wildlife that was going on in Australia was it the begin? I don't forget when it happened. The beginning of the the year or the end of the, last year? I don't remember. But they did this book, and I saw that on there. And I it had some authors on here that I uh, wanted to read. Uh, who was it? Sierra Simone. I wanted to read something from her. Uh, anybody else on here? Athea Roman. I wanted to read something from her. In my heart, I've read In My Heart before. It just had quite a few authors on here that I wanted to check out. Uh, got Julie Ann in here. Love her, love her writing. So I, I went ahead and got it. Even though when was this published? Let's see here. Maybe it was the beginning of this year. Let's see. Is it in here? It don't even have when it's published. It don't even have a date in here. Oh my goodness. But when all the fires were going on in Australia. I don't remember when it was, but yeah, uh, this book is supposed to, the proceeds go to that cause. Go to those firefighters in the wildlife of Australia. Look how thick that book is. Oh my goodness. I hope some good stories are in here. I hope so. So I got that. But that's all I have for now. Uh, I'll be coming back with another book haul because I got quite a few. I got my, um, the books from uh, Thrift Books and I also got a... A box from Holoquin that I had ordered some historicals in. So that's all I have for now. I hope y'all enjoy my little book haul here. My little uh, COVID stay at home book haul. Yeah, because I've been doing the most. That's all I have for now. Um, and until next time, keep reading those romances and I'll see you all later. Bye.